Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dave Eckern, Vice President of Operations for Mastercraft Boats, as well as Aviara Boats. We're here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, uh, debuting the Avi Aviara AV36. We got 36 foot boat, 10 foot, 10 inch beam. You can see down the profile here. Very uh, unique styling, uh, European inspired exterior styling, as well as interior styling, but built all in North America at our plant uh, just outside Knoxville, Tennessee. We're gonna start at the transom and work our way into the bow and then take a few minutes walking to, into the small berth area underneath the helm. First thing you'll notice on this boat are three outboard engines. You've got two different styles of propulsion available with the Aviara 36 as well as its sister boat, the Aviara 32. This is showing a triple uh, 300 horsepower Mercury configuration for 900 total horsepower. The base boat comes standard with two 400 horsepower Mercury Verados. It's also available in a stern drive configuration utilizing engines from Ilmore Marine. One of the real keys of Aviara, uh, aside from the styling, was we wanted to create a really unique uh, rear third of the boat at the transom to help really um, assist customers with having a wonderful time on the water. We spent a long time studying how people got in and out of the boat, what kind of activity was taking place at the transom, and that's what really inspired this whole area. You start with a basic sun pad, and these uh, original stools will start, they'll start down. So with this layout, you've got a pretty traditional sun pad and it looks like a normal cockpit seating area up on the back. Now, as we studied and took a look at how consumers use the boat, we noticed that, especially when you're out in a cove or on a sandbar, whether you're boating um, inside the United States at a big lake like uh, Lake of the Ozarks, or down here in Florida on the intercoastal, moving out to one of the islands, a lot of the people that you take with you, because this is an extremely social, entertaining day boat, everybody starts to move to the transom as you go and anchor up or go spend some time out together. And we wanted to really make that flow and uh, comfort transition from the interior of the boat to the exterior. So we've got three individual seats that lift up with ratcheting mechanisms allow anyone sitting here on the edge of the sun pad to have back support. And behind those, we've got three built-in bar stools that allow someone to then get a better view of what's happening out in the water overhead of anybody sitting on the platform. Don't have to use the flip-ups, but it sets up three layers of uh, support and seating on the boat from bar stool to sun pad to anyone who happens to be sitting on the swim platform. You've really got a fourth, talking to anybody who happens to be walking around on the sandbar or out in the water, swimming around on a floaty, you know, or in an inside out uh, life jacket. So that's really setting up amazing things here for use um, with the boat and its social activity when you're out on the water. Overhead, you see a, a optional make fast sunshade. So this is a powered sunshade that folds in and stores inside the hard top and uh, debut, uh, deploys in about 20 seconds, stores in about 20 seconds, really extends all this sunshade all the way to the edge of the sun pad, which is fantastic when you're out, uh, out on the water. In the walkthrough, we've got storage for uh, up to four fenders. Um, oh, here, we got one right here. So the fenders just drop right in, although they're stopped by uh, cases of beer and water right now, and uh, lock into place making it nice and easy for uh, when you're docking. Nice, easy spot for those to get out of the way. So we've got 36 uh, feet, four inch overall length, uh, a 10 foot, 10 inch beam. And you can really feel it here in the cockpit, nice and wide, lots of great space to be able to move around, as well as a lot of great seating space. You've got a starboard entry, which comes in and it causes you to cross all the way up to the bow on the port side. And uh, that creates a nice path and flow that gives us two little great spots where you're not interfering with, um, you're not tripping over legs, you're not bumping into people as you move in and out of the boat from the bow back to the cockpit and back to the transom. So you've got a great L-shaped seat here. I can stretch my legs out. I'll never interfere with this workflow plenty of storage underneath all of the seats and all the different areas. 
on the port side over here, you've got a lounge seat that converts from forward facing to aft facing. So as you're anchored up or, or rafted out, you're able to sit and uh, relax and converse with anybody who happens to be sitting in the back of the uh, back of the seating here in the cockpit. By being on the uh, having the helm on the starboard side as well, it's really easy from this seat to be able to converse with anybody who's at the helm while you're anchored up. You know, typically the captain's got control of music. You've got control of anything happening um, up here at the helm, and all I have to do is simply rotate, and you've got a great path to be able to talk to anybody back in the seat really sets up a nice flow makes it easy and then you've got one touch control of all your radio or anything else that you need back uh, when you're out on the water on the starboard side we set up uh in this case um an, uh, a wet bar style entertainment center we've got a sink and storage area for wine bottles champagne bottles in this case uh, here at the boat show we've got it filled with ice and drinks um, but nice storage areas for each of those uh, spots. Below that, because everyone hates to ask someone to move to sit up, we've got a pull-out, uh, in this case, a pull-out cooler. Uh, we also have an optional pull-out full built-in rotomole cooler that's built in with a drain that allows you to load that full of ice and drinks, pull the drain, let all the water drain out um, at the end of the day. The wet bar setup here, entertaining layout here, has uh, two optional gas grills that sit underneath those countertops, or not gas, electric grills, sorry. Spot for cup holders on the back, two isotherm stainless steel refrigerators underneath. So you've got plenty of room for drinks and keeping everything cold from uh, um, platters of meats. If take some shrimp, if you want to grill out on the, on the water, lots of different, air, uh, lots of different things to do. At the helm, we have a really unique design treatment where it's uh, eliminated many of the um, push button or flipping switches that you'd normally see on a boat. It's a very progressive design in keeping with the overall theme of Aviara. Right to left, we have all your engine controls here. In this case, a um, uh, little display that's uh, all tied into all the Mercury Verado engines. 16 inch Garmin in the center that uh, gets you all the info that you need for um, charts and sonar and, and radar. And then on the left, we have a 10 inch, 10.4 inch touchscreen that has multiple pages to allow you to control everything that you need on the boat. You've got a switch page, which allows you to put the sunshade in and out, control the windlass, an audio page, which allows you to tune as well as control individual volume levels for all the speakers, a lighting page, info about tanks, and then a menu page that allows you to adjust anything uh, relative to that. All your key information stays up all the time. Air temperature, water temperature, voltmeter, all that stuff is real critical. Moving up to the bow. We carry through the same design theme as in the rest of the boat. We've got polished uh, um, aluminum accents. These are available in either a silver satin or a black satin finish. Plenty of storage underneath all the seats in each of the locations. You've got a built-in cooler here, an insulated cooler filled with drinks and ice, so everybody up in the bow's got a, a spot to handily grab a have it drink. There's an optional bow sunshade that comes off the front of the hardtop and locks in the poles and can protect this entire area with shade in case you're out on the water for a, a long day, want to stay under uh, under some shade and out of the heat. Included in the boat is a 10 speaker audio system. We've got uh, speakers up in the hardtop, built into the cockpit, as well as two 11 inch subwoofers located in the boat. This, this system's from Klipsch Marine Audio. We've partnered with them as well as Bon Jovi Acoustics. They've created a very special digital signal processing module for us that helps amplify all of the music uh, that comes out of the stereo and helps really fill this entire boat with great sound. One of the keys to that are these two speakers built into the dash. This reflects music up and off the windshield and back through the cockpit at ear level rather than down by your hips. This really brings out all the music and allows you to really have a great entertaining sound system, whether you're playing um, Tchaikovsky to uh, 50 Cent. So you can have anything you want during the day. We've got a door here that locks into a magnet and we've got a uh, berth 
underneath the uh, and behind the helm. This has got a cut in front of you. This has got a lounge seat that lifts and pops up into place. You can see it here deployed. It ratchets back and sets down, giving you space to convert this into a berth. You've got a generator as well as AC available in here to stay nice and cool. In case you get too hot at the end of the day, it gives you a spot to cool off and uh, get out of the sun. To the uh, starboard side, let's see if we can get around this with Kelly. We've got a wet head available. Uh, well, not available, it's standard. So a wet head, um, macerating toilet, um, mirror sink, all laid out right, and a pull-out shower faucet up there at the, uh, at the faucet, uh, and that allows you to you know, rinse off if it gets too salty, you wanna stay fresh before the, uh, you head out to dinner or anything else like that. All coming out of the berth. So that's the highlights of the new Aviar AV36. I'm Dave Eckern, and I look forward to seeing you out on the water.